Good morning. So yet again today, we are not filming at the homestead. I'm actually up at my mom and dad's. Um, a couple weeks, months, I'm not even sure the timeline ago, um, we came up and planted a plot of land at mom and dad's house. Um, and the purpose was basically to plant it and leave it and then to come back in a couple weeks or months. Hang on. Shh, wait. Okay, see here. Right here, it's hello. I think that's actually the mama with twins that has been getting into the garden plot. So anyway, um, we left it a couple weeks ago. And so we're going to come back and um, look at it today. This could have been a complete flop or a complete success or somewhere in the middle. So you guys are going to be getting a first look at this to see if it worked, if it didn't work. And yeah, see it up. All right, so we have lots of weeds. Well, let's see. The tomatoes are doing something not super grand, but she does have a couple of tomatoes. The squash are unimpressive. <laughs> Hey, her okra is little, but it's putting on fruit. That's cool. Oh gosh, look at this one. Those are good size. Okay, so down this row, and honestly, throughout most of this is sweet potatoes. And you can see that they're vining. They're just not getting very big. So all the down through here, there's sweet potato vines. And a lot of them survive. So that's pretty cool. These are little. Okay, so this side, they're all surviving. They're just not very big. I don't think any of my sugar snap peas beat the weeds. So over here is interesting. These squashes are very little, very discolored. And then you have this one, might be multiple, but they're very large with a little squash in it. A little, little squash. So we'll see if those produce anything. But these ones all here, it actually looks like maybe they got eaten. Maybe Miss Thing, our little dear friend, has eaten off of these. But they're very discolored, so that tells me there's probably some sort of nutritional, oops, sorry, deficiency. But then over here, you've got your little sweet potatoes that are hanging on. They're just taking a while. But even just looking in here, I got a couple okra, a handful of beans. 
So just as a review, in case you don't know, this plot was planted um, out of an abundance of sweet potato slips that I had. Oh, guys, look. So these didn't get um, trellised or vine, but there's a couple good, like this one over here looks like a caterpillar is eating it, enjoying it. But there's a pretty good sized little tomato on there. So we'll see if those produce. But anyway, as I was saying, um, we planted this out of, a, out of an abundance of sweet potatoes slips that I had. Um, just as an experiment. So I wouldn't say that it was a fail, but I will say that if we were to do this again, um, we would probably tend it a little more. Um, I'm going to let it grow until the first frost and then we'll come in and we'll dig up the rows to see if any of the sweet potatoes actually developed. Um, but overall, I mean, it was an experiment. It wasn't meant to fail or succeed. It was meant to learn. So cardboard does work. If I got in there and just weeded right around the vines, um, the cardboard kept all of the rows um, the paths completely weed free. It's mostly just around the plants. And so if we were to come in here, maybe two weeks after planting those slips and weeded it a little bit, I think probably it wouldn't be very weedy at all. Um, but I do think something I learned for up here is we would need to add a lot more nutrition, um, maybe bring in some extra compost, um, from our pole barn next spring, if we wanted to utilize this again, um, just to improve the soil's health. So that's just kind of our short little follow-up on how mom and dad's experiment plot is going. Thank you guys for joining me on this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.